Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? I'm back with another video. And I'm coming with y'all. I'm coming on here today to kind of go ahead and clear up some stuff on the uh, on the video on... I can't remember which video it was. Uh, I think it was the one when I had fed the pups or fed all the dogs. And I was talking about uh, the earth, diatomaceous earth. Uh, I've had a lot of people come on and ask me about, you know, uh, they didn't know about it being like a natural, using it for a natural warmer. So I just wanted to come on instead of like just going back and forth texting with everybody that's been hitting me up. I just decided I'd just go ahead and make a quick video. All right. First thing, first thing first. This here is a bag of the D-Earth that I use. And the most important thing on this Dodge Mesa's Earth, food grade that's the most important thing food grade it has to be food grade all right okay now check this out get this video done so i can go ahead and post it uh for the ones that was asking me about it okay on the earth that dodge makes earth that i use as a natural warmer okay all right just the thing how i use it i use it basically for a dewarmer, and I also use it as a detox. Okay, all right. Now, when I say that, meaning like when I do a natural warmer, like everybody, but well, not everybody, just basically how I do it. This is a disclaimer. I'm not saying you have to go out and do it just the right way. This is how I do it. Okay. Now the thing is, when I warm them out, I warm them out like three days in a row using the de-earth. And what I do is I use a, basically like a little teaspoon, sprinkle a little bit over the feed, and that's all I do, and I feed it to them. You can mix it in or whatever. I do that like three days in a row. I use that as my natural dewormer. okay? What I would suggest, if you have a smaller dog or a bigger dog, you always wanna just give a little bit to kinda of get them used to it starting, you know, starting, you don't wanna just pour a whole lot on it. I mean, it's not gonna, kill them or nothing like that but y'all want to start with a little amount okay i do that three days in a row okay it won't hurt if you want to do a whole week it would not hurt them but i just do three days in a row use it as my natural dewormer also just say like if my dogs end up having um uh, just say an upset stomach for no apparent reason they stool start looking funny and you know you try to figure out like what's going on some didn't agree with them that's where the de-earth come in again. I'll sprinkle a little de-earth on now. Problem solved. All right, there's another thing that you can actually use that de-earth for. You can actually sprinkle it on your dog and use it for, for fleas, for ticks and fleas. I said that right. Ticks and fleas, fleas and ticks. You can use that same food grade de-earth on your dog. You can sprinkle it on them. It's, it's perfectly safe. This is the thing about it though. Now you're probably saying, oh, you sprinkling that de-earth on them to kill fleas, that means it's harmful to the dog. No, it's not. The difference in that, the silicon that's inside of the de-earth, it does not kill the insects like a natural pesticide. What it does is it dries them out. That's all it does. It dries the skeletal system of them, and that's what kills them. It's not like a pesticide. It actually just dries out the flea or dries out the tick and that's what actually kills them. So you can't actually put it on them for a flea preventative. And I just want to come on and just, you know, now if you have any comments, just drop down in the bottom. I don't, I don't mind answering them, but that is how I use my deer as a natural warmer. I also use it as a detox. And also, where well, I don't use it now, but I used to, I used to use it as a flea prevention. But I don't have that issue. Uh, We'll get back into something else later, but those are some of the uses that you can use it for. Thank you. Again, for everybody out there that inquired and asked about it, thank you again, and thanks for watching.